to today's video. For today's video, I thought I would film a recreation, Avi. For this recreation, I decided to recreate one of Gabby Hanna's makeup looks. This was from one of her music videos. It wasn't her most recent. It was the one prior to that called Butterflies. And there was one makeup look in particular that was like screaming to me, you know? And it was, it was obviously this one. Honestly, whoever her makeup artist was for this did such a bomb job and she just looked in every single one. It was super hard to pick, but I did decide to do this one. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this look and this recreation. Uh, if you have any recommendations for looks or videos or anything, let me know down below. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye. All right, so first I'm going to start by putting my hair back, obviously, because it was it was the situation, okay? And then after that, I'm going to just kind of look at my reference picture and then go from there. So I am applying some concealer to both my eyelids first. I tried a bit of a different camera angle here, so, you know, let me know what you think. Um, so after I put a little bit, a little bit, a lot of bit of concealer on both eyelids, I'm going to set that with Maybelline setting powder. Okay, now it's time for eyeshadow, and I'm going to be using the Clara Cosmetics Malibu palette. Ooh, amazing. So I'm going to take this eyeshadow and blend this back and forth in the crease of my eye. The actual eyeshadow for this look is super easy, so I just go in with a bit of a darker brown from that same palette, blend right over top of that, and then just go back in, buff over everything, and then I'm going to apply the shimmer all over my lid. This one is from Laura Geller, and I am going to apply some setting spray to the brush so that it just adhere, adheres a bit better. So I'm just going to put a few layers, layers, oh dear, of that on, and then apply a liquid glitter over top. Just a gold glitter will do, and it really spices things up, you know? Then I'm going to apply a little bit of this matte white. These eyeshadows are fantastic, okay? They're so good. And then I'm going to blend over that. And then, that's it for eyeshadow. I know. I'm going to apply some eyeliner. I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. Can you see the difference? It's amazing. It just makes your lashes look thicker and just all around, in my opinion, better. Then I'm going to fill in and sculpt my brows with this Wet n Wild brow pencil. To be honest, this is my favorite brow pencil I think ever. I love it so much. So I'm just going to define my brows and then set it with a Morphe brow gel. Now it's time for that feisty wing. Okay, um, to be honest, Gabby's uh, liner was a lot thicker than I actually did. So you can definitely make this thicker or thinner or whatever you want to do, but I'm just winging out my liner, yes, as, as one would, and then I'm going to apply some lashes. These are from Ilure. They're beautiful. I love them, and I'm just going to pop those on, and then I thought I would show you right here the lash band. I don't, I don't, I don't like that, so I'm going to cover that up with the same gel liner I just used from Maybelline, and then I take some mascara and just kind of put a light layer to mesh my lashes in with the false ones. Now it is time for the face. So for primer, I'm going to use MAC Prep and Prime. I'm really good. I'm going to apply it all over my face and then move on into foundation. I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. It's so good. So I'm going to apply, honestly, a lot of foundation and then just blend it in with a damp beauty sponge. It'll pick up the extra product and look very nice in my opinion. Then I did not show you but I did apply concealer and powder off camera so now I'm just bronzing my face with the Kat Von D shade and light contour kit and then bronzing with the Anastasia glow kit. I decided to go in and apply a bit of this. It's technically a highlighter but it works if you want to go for the bronze. Okay. Now I'm just cleaning up my contour with a little bit of that Maybelline powder. Uh, this is like a must for me. Then I'm applying some blush from e.l.f. It's a super natural color, so 
Um, this is optional, I guess. I didn't really see much blush on her anyway, so don't worry about it. Then I'm going to apply this navy blue eyeliner to my waterline. I will say I'm very frustrated that you cannot pick up this blue at all because it was blue. Because I'm applying this um, Lime Crime eyeshadow. It's amazing. And I'm just kind of buffing this around on my lower lash and smoking it out. So again, I'm super sorry that it didn't show up blue. And also the gold didn't show up very gold. So sorry about that. But it was there, you know? So now I'm applying some of this gold from the Clara Cosmetics palette and applying this to my inner corner. This, this was gold as well. So <laughs> thanks camera. Now I'm applying some mascara to my lower lashes. And then you didn't think I forgot about the highlight, did you? Nah. So I'm going to apply some of this MAC highlighter. It's my favorite of all time. And then I obviously need, well, I was a little shook. Sorry. I just, you know, me and the highlight me in a minute. I'm going to highlight my brow bone as well. And then obviously get rid of that translucent powder and tap in that beam, you know, because it was, it was a little much. Now I am lining my lips. This is a Fiona Styles lip liner, actually. And then I'm going to top it with a bit of this Marc Jacobs lipstick in screen test. And then for the third product, I'm going to put a little bit of Becca Gloss over top. And there you go. That is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.